right, guys. Happy Friday. Friend, you're in the camera. <laughs> we are back for the weekend vlog and friend is here. Y'all ain't seen friend in it's so long. She had just deserted me. She's been I'm sorry. I had emotional issues. <laughs> I'm getting my life together. I'm yes. happy today. Y yes to therapy, okay? Mm -hmm. Listen. That part. But we're out shooting the shit. We're about to go have lunch. We are about to go antiquing. We're about to go thrifting. We're about to do all the things. All the things that we love to do. Yes. It's gonna be a good day. It's gonna be a great <laughs> day. Okay. <laughs> But that don't mean it's gonna fit your thigh, but you know it fits your waist. I need you to go with me to the thrift store in uh, Huffman. They have rugs, and I want you to look at them. They're like 129. You said Huffman like I know where Huffman is. Y'all look what I found. <laughs> <laughs> Tell me this on say Bruno Mars. I'm gonna get an over. I can even do like a baggy look, tuck it in like this, have it out showing like that. What kind of pants would you wear with that? Jeans. I can do some trousers. This it's $6.99 and it's half price. I'm I'm a, I'm gonna try it on in, in the fitting room, y'all. Picture it. This is fire. Y'all tell me why your friend tried on this blazer and kept it on. And now we're trying to find the actual blazer she came in here with. We cannot find it. She's over there looking in the men's section. Alright, y'all update. <laughs> She found I my found jacket. it. It was in the back the whole time, full of, under all the clothes that we had picked out. <laughs> Baby, I was running around there like, where's my coat? That coat is cute. Okay, I need my blazer. Oh, gosh. <laughs> I'll give you guys a haul. What time is it? It's 3.32. Uh, I'll uh, give you guys a haul. If not, before we go pick up Alexander, then after. Because I want to go ahead and put him in the washing machine. And then I got two blazers. I might go and get one of the blazers I'm definitely going to have to get altered. So I'll probably go take that suit to the alterations lady tomorrow because she's open on Saturday before I then take it to the dry cleaner because I want her to get started on that shit ASAP because it is fire. The suit? The blue suit. Oh baby, I tried to steal it y'all. My fat so ass cute. couldn't get in it. <laughs> so cute. My ass was like, no ma'am. So the donkey donk is donkey. <laughs> Yeah, all that ass. <laughs> As Nikki would say, you dragging that wagon. Oh Lord, my wagon ain't even that big. Well, sometimes I wear jeans. I'd be like, why y'all tell my Friend, ass was this big? Yo, your, your wagon is that big. <laughs> Cut off a slice and give me some, cause I ain't got nothing. Baby, and gladly would. I'm just. Wide. I need to reduce it by a couple inches. That's it. Just a couple. Well, at least I ain't had to pay for mine. So the whole thing about vintage store, uh, it's not happening today. Looks like that's gonna be a. They closed, ain't they? Vintage store. Uh huh. No, they're not. Well, no, no, they're not closed. It's just it's three thirty. So by the time we have to go up, go all the way back home, home, pick him up. I mean, get my car and then come back. We should have freaking put the car seat in your car, cause mm -hmm. then we probably could have left here at four fifteen and been back. Mm -hmm. Cause it's a 15, 15, 20 minutes max. His ass can get picked up at four thirty, forty, forty-five. But because we have to go all the way home and then get his car seat. We gonna do one. You do one, and I do one. I got. Do we, Do we have the same number? No. Okay. It don't matter. We do that until all your stuff left. <laughs> to all her stuff left. Okay. I go first. So the first thing I got was this bag, you guys. Do y'all see this? It reminds me of a Duke for the po Popeline? Pauline. Pauline bag. So it's this black faux leather bag with these straps. And oh damn, they put a zip tie on it. Oh wow. And so it opens up like super big, you guys, but inside is a zipper, but it's a pocket zipper thing. And then it's just like a big tote bag. This is absolutely stunning. 
I'm gonna get some wear by this bad boy. She so we get salty on each other for everything we buy. I gotta come out with something spectacular. So spectacular. Nothing. Uh huh. The Bruno Mars shirt. No. Oh. <laughs> Baby, if that ain't spectacular, I don't know what it is. So when I show y'all this shirt, y'all just wait until I stop. And she still don't have faith in me. But I saw this shirt. Let me. Get when up. she put it on, actually, I did renew faith. Get up close on both. Y'all see that? These are like velvet thing, diamond. diamond things. The next thing I got is this corduroy dark brown men's vest. I tried it on. Lovely. It was $6.99. It's such a dark, deep, like chocolatey brown. And then it's two tongues strong the back. She's so funny. Oh, go, 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 go. <laughs> so I've been looking for a blue button up to kind of, I have this gray blazer that I, I want to pair it with. And so I picked up this blue polo shirt polo. men's tip styling tip please go to the men's section for your button-ups because the quality is better and they always have a better selection because and they wrinkle free when they come out of the dryer that part this is the one she stole <laughs> i did not so this is a men's gray shirt but this is like i don't know if y'all be able to see the pattern it has like a little like a rib pattern in it it isn't rib but it's it's homemade y'all somebody made this like literally it says made for whomever inside of whatever <laughs> whomever whatever so i found this one this one is a suede i love this one this is from george isn't that walmart no this is actually the one i found that she was oh yeah she that she was gonna beat me down for in the aisle this is the one where i said i was gonna the one where the lady was looking her. at her side eye because she thought we really was gonna really? fight lovely we fight over everything we was fighting over this one too it's a wrinkle free oh yeah and i always get my men's shirts in the extra large or higher like we not doing no larges or no mediums we need them to fit oversized so it's like a light brown tannish color it's gonna be look really really good your friend over there kicking is you done all right the next one that i got i think you pointed this one out too yes i love these oversized shirts i like to wear them hell for about anything but her oversized shirts are different to me we both love she has a fabric type. Yes, I do. She, if it's not soft it and like been, cuddly, what she is this in velvet. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna say it's linen, but it might be a linen like it blend. Is. But I, it's, it's made by somebody like it was made and they did put a tag in it, but they didn't put no tag in it about the fabric. But whatever, I don't care. It's nice. It's like a linen fabric. It's absolutely gorgeous. Very lightweight. It has shoulder pads. Definitely in my color palette. Y'all will see this. This spring and summer. This so the blazer that she had on and continued to wear. Oh yes. When, she lost this when I lost this one, it was good. But I paid nine dollars and ninety nine cents. Maybe so. Maybe this was a prom and does not have functional pockets or anything. But this is gonna be bomb when I put it on, y'all. Like, I got this little cute Wrangler jacket for your friend. Crimson Alabama jacket for your friend. Little rain coat. This one he'll probably have to grow into because it's a three T. This the, is the creme de la creme. We were fighting over this one, but my little chunk of dunk wouldn't get in it. My ass, that ass. That ass. <laughs> it wouldn't work out for my life. So, I don't think this came out yet. So, I did a, a video of the 2024 trends, and one of it is suits and specific tailoring. And so, they were giving all the different websites that have suits, but I wasn't trying to pay $300 for a suit and then have to turn around and pay like 50 to 60 bucks for tailoring. So, went over to the men's section. Man. And picked up this blue. This outdoes everything in my haul. Why she try to act like she mad? Y'all, I paid fourteen ninety nine for this, and when so my tailor would charge me fifteen dollars for the pants, and then she'll charge me twenty dollars for this, so thirty five dollars plus what twenty five fifty five sixty dollars for. And by the time I'm done with this, detail, y'all, look at this. Oh, the pin stripe on Our this pin striping. You hear me? And it's a navy. Y'all know navy is in this year. Navy is in. So we can wash then. And I wash all of my clothes on Deli because I think I'm going to do it before. Hey, do in the boy. I just let you out. That was it. I'm over here. I'm going to mind my business. Y'all, he just be looking at me like I'm going to kidnap him or something. Like his mama don't know where I'm over there. Why? Why you not be friends with me on the camera? It's Kim over there. Y'all, he be looking at me so funny. He be looking at me like I'm a kidnapper on the street. Look, he got some camera in there. You see it? That is so cool. He's asking me why his folks ain't on there singing. Baby, your little gut is gutting. I mean, sir, you can't eat no 
Omar. Watch him play on the <laughs> I'm watching Alexander while she go pick up uh, Mr. William from the airport. He had to go out of town. Ooh, this plush, I like it. I don't care what she say. It's comfy. We went, we we gonna keep this blanket. Look, I'm just gonna tell her what she gonna keep. <laughs> I'm talking to your vlog. Yeah. I just heard something in the woods. You heard yeah. something in the woods? Uh, it's probably a deer. Nah, uh, uh, Do y'all got lions and tigers and bears out here? I don't know, but I'm gonna jump in. <laughs> Be careful for you. Hey, y'all. All right, y'all. Happy Saturday. <coughs> I'm rushing, but I'm kind of not rushing. So I'm about to get ready to head out with Kyosha. We're about to go to breakfast. I've been craving Waffle House. Yeah, that's what we're going to be looking like today. And then as far as like what we're wearing. Yeah, and then as far as what we're wearing, I'm going to keep it simple. I'll probably just do all black i have this green I, you guys have seen it this green trench coat that i got from boohoo that i'll wear on top but these are the only version of rain boots that i have so i have these but they're just so heavy to this day i don't know why i keep them this bottom is so heavy so i'm about to throw on a pair of tights a black shirt a ton of jewelry and i'll see you guys in the car all right, I'm here. Now I'm starting to get the sniffles. My gosh, I don't, one thing I don't have time for is to get sick. So I'm here. Um, we are at the Waffle House in Leeds because we're going to the antique store here. I love this antique store. Um, so I'm just waiting on Kiosha. So um, the plans for today, like I said, going to the antique store. I don't know if I told you guys any of this. My mind is starting to play games with me. Um, going to the antique store and then we're going to go to another one in hoover and then i need to go um to the either the lowe's or the home depot because i'm trying to switch out the knobs in our um in our bedroom like our bathrooms and it's like a double nod so you need this screw this screw here we go you need this screw and the knobs that I got I need a longer screw so I need this this width but I need it longer so I took one so I don't know which one to look for um and then I just need to come back and edit this has just been a very long week I did do a weekly vlog before this one so you guys should see that but um antique store I am looking for a record player mine broke I did get a needle replaced and it's supposed to be coming today but I really want a vintage one that Kyosha? No. Um, and then I just wanted to get, I want to try to find an antique vase for this tree to go in this faux olive tree I got off of um, Amazon, which is so cute. I know I said I wasn't going to put fake trees in the library. I mean, fake plants, but I might put this olive tree in the library. Like, I might buy another one and put it in the library. Of this. Excuse me. It's so cute. So, I want to do a vase for that. I um, don't know if I told you guys before, but I have had this antique watch. It's a Seiko antique watch that I've had for years. I got it at an antique store back where I grew up, <clears throat> and I left it in Aruba. And by the time I realized it was, I had left it, and I called them. They said they didn't, have, they couldn't find it. You have it, whatever. So I want to get an antique watch, and I think it's like if you saw my luxury wish list, you guys know that one of my wish list items is the vintage luxury watch. But I just I love the vintage watches. I love that the fact that they kind of look like bracelets. I love that they are very durable and reliable. Like I had mine. Uh, I want to say I got mine back when we were at their first house, so in 2013. So I've had that thing for almost 10 years over 10 years actually when I lost it I was very upset so I want to see if I can find something I like Seiko or um, Timex vintage watches um, yeah and then whatever else I might happen to find I just really like antiquing it makes me happy I remember when the, I think the last time me and Kyosha went antiquing I found a first edition first edition version of To Kill a Mockingbird I looked that up online and it's going for a couple hundred dollars. She gave it to me for ten dollars. I was like, Dude, I don't think they know what they got. <laughs> but it was over there where it was like, all books are like ten bucks, or these books are like ten bucks. I was excited. 
I need to blow my nose. I, I thought I wasn't getting sick. But I guess I am. Yeah, so that is that is the plan. So I've been to this one that we're going to in Leeds. I also changed my shoe. I'll show you guys. Those boots are heavy. I don't even know why I keep them. I thought, I guess, I guess they're heavy now because I haven't worn boots that aren't healed in so long. I put them boots on. I said, no, because I know how much walking we're going to be doing. I am not, I'm not doing it. I also need to go buy the, um... I'm not going to be able to go by the tailor because apparently she closes at 12 and I don't think I'm going to be back. And I was going to go before I came here, but I'm not. I'm not going to have the time. I'm going to have the time. But I need to drop off. What time is my dry cleaning close? What's the name of that dry cleaning? Jesus. What's over there by my dry cleaning? Uh, oh, there was a... I don't remember the name of that place. Shoot. Starbucks thing on work. Oh, local. <coughs> local roots. Yes, okay. And then go down a little bit. Go down a little bit more. Got it. Got it. Keep going. Okay, there it goes. They also close at 12. Shoot. They're close on Sundays. Oh, well, guess I'm not taking these. I was going to take this, my Bruno Mars shirt, and then my green blazer. I probably should have did it. Should have dropped it off before I came out here. But that's not going to happen. So I'll, that'll be a next week thing. Until Monday. Dollar for parking? Yeah. Just for the price. And it's not even direct. We got to go. We're going there. We got to go to Dallas and then go to Austin. Thank you so much. And then coming back, we got to go to Atlanta and then come here. I, 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 think there, I thought there would be a direct flight to Austin. Oh, so y'all got to drive to Atlanta? No. Coming back, we, we have a layover in Atlanta. Atlanta. Oh, and then we got to turn around literally that next. Because we're also going to see Ashley and Erin in April. We got a lot going on in April. <laughs> you probably know that. We'll be in Birmingham. <laughs> A full-on she shit? Yes, I can record in there, like a studio. Oh, Wouldn't that, be that would be cute. Someone's getting a faux tree, and I'm mad because uh, look how pretty that tree is. You tell them how much it costs. It's only fifty dollars, and it comes with the stand. I'm happy. Meanwhile, I'm having to buy mine. It looks like a real tree, and it's a full one. It, it does. It's it's it's. it's you try, you trying to say my my tree? My, yeah, that's what I had. No, I was talking about other people in this. Oh boy, y'all! I ain't nobody gonna get this in here. You gotta move your phone. Is it too heavy? No, we need another basket. We need another basket. to slide this shit up there. Just tell them to hold it for you. Oh, I want to read this. Jodie Picoult, A Sparkle of Light. She has I haven't heard of that. What's that about? I don't think I've ever read anything. I heard it. Warm days fall like any other at Center, a women's reproductive health services clinic. It's staff ordering care to anyone who passes through the doors. Then a desperate and distraught gunman bursts and it opens fire taking hostages. Oh, no. After rushing to the scene, a police hostage negotiator begins making plans to communicate with the gentleman. Ooh, mystery and thriller. Of course. Uh, you said audiobook, so don't even do the dance because you couldn't get nothing. Well, what if they have old boy in here? Who? Well, Stephen Cavanaugh. We got Steve Cavanaugh. Oh. What is that? The rescue? Look how little it is. Why is it so small? Yeah, I don't really like the small. Well, that's. I don't really like this the small, like small bags like that. What? Because they, look how little this book is. That means that's 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 not a normal paper bag. Page. That's a condensed paper bag. But you literally have to be dedicated, though. Yeah, I, I'm not dedicated. Perfect. Got the John Sanford. How wide it gotta be? 
Okay. Oh, okay. Is it not five? Yeah, it's seven. What you gonna do? Paint it? You like that color? I kind of like it. I don't know if I love it. How much size? How much color? Four. You want to put it in? You always put it back no. in case we go. If I come back in, it's not here. It wasn't meant to be. Look at this. Tell her she don't need it. She wouldn't let me have no teacup. It's so pretty. How much it goes? Two hundred and sixty. Damn, is it made out of real crystals? Yeah, it's crystal and gold. <laughs> but it's half off, so it'd be like one third. That's so pretty, though. You can't do nothing with it, Alicia. Keep it moving. Okay. It would be literally for decoration. But it's so cute. It is. It's for Alexander to get a hold of. <laughs> you know what? Thank you. <laughs> Did the same thing. Y'all friend upstairs sleep and then gave me the sniffles. I blame it on him. <laughs> Surprisingly, everything that I went out crooked. I don't care. Friend. When she get late at night, she don't care nothing about y'all. <laughs> and I, she don't care about being y'all free or nothing. Anyway. I, I was supposed to get a vase, couldn't find one. I couldn't find one in my price range. I was supposed to find a lamp, couldn't find one in my price range. I was supposed to find a watch, couldn't find one. Couldn't find no watch. Couldn't find no watch. Not a good vintage one. So we're, I'm still on a hunt for those three, but I did get some things. I got a lot of stuff there. Yeah, someone got the camo black jacket. She stole it again. Why are we friends? <laughs> After this vlog, you'll never see her again. She laughed. <laughs> She gonna be on my first date with me. <laughs> I'm gonna be in the back. I'm not gonna be on the on the table. That's a little weird. Mm -hmm. But we're it, let this one tell it. We we would never. She would never be on a date. I'm not going. Yes, she is. She liked everybody under the sun. Yes. She, no. I know I did. not They only gave me ten likes. That's good enough. And then I got books. I got, so she gonna do her. We gonna do this first. Oh yeah. Okay. So we got blind date with blind a book. Date. And yeah. I told you guys, she ripped my tag off. So yeah, yours looks a lot thicker than mine. I think mine said what m murder? It was thriller? like murder thriller something. Yeah. So I opened mine five first since I ain't got no tag. At least you'll be able to read her tag. So okay. let's see what I got. Let's see. I hope it's something I ain't never read before. I hope it is too. Because if I read it, don't be ugly. <laughs> Jesus. I don't think this I read every murder so mystery cute. book. We said we was gonna go and pick one out every month if we could. I think so. And just do because it. the store that we went to, where did, where did we go when we saw them? Again, was it the last one we just went to? Mm -hmm. Oh, that's us. Elisa Jewel. The Brooks. night she disappeared. The night she disappeared. Oh, this is gonna be bomb. Y'all know I love G Lisa Jewel books. She actually makes some really, really good books. Now I may not read. I might go on the library. They have the audio book. I'm just gonna I'm not gonna lie to y'all, and I might pick up the audio book. But then the night she disappeared. I don't think I read this one. I know I haven't. I'm excited! Yay. Yay! Let's see what you got. Okay, I got a New York Times bestseller, Confusion, U.S. Marshal, Federal Agents, Plot Twist. That's a lot. Alicia book. picked her because she knows she don't like thick books. So I she don't. picked it because it was thin and mine was thick. She was like, no. What's your page count? What's my page count? Is 401. <laughs> yeah. Oh no, 398. Still, still. She too. wasn't going to read it, y'all. She wasn't going to read it. I'm excited. That is nice. This going to be good. What are you reading right now? Nothing. See, you can start that. The million copy bookseller author. You can start that in here. 
I need to sleep snoring like I was last night with them jeans. And she had to, she got out late. She got the book we read for our book club. The the last thing he told me. No, we didn't read that for book club. I, I read it and then told you to read, read it. Oh, damn. Wait a minute. U.S. Marshall and fellow Asians were in here. Mm -hmm. Oh, friend. Mm -hmm. Do you want mine and then I can see if it's on my app? If Are you going to start reading it now? Because I've it's just. on my app? I just read Let my last. Let me see if it's on there. I just read my last book. So I don't, okay. I'm not reading a book right now. All right, y'all, happy Sunday. We are up and at them. I am getting ready to decondition my hair. I was gonna wait until tomorrow, but I forgot. I don't know why I forgot or just overlooked the fact that I did recently dye my hair. And whether you dye your hair a different color, a lighter color, darker color, your hair does have a tendency to dry out a little bit. So I need to get back to making sure I decondition every single week. So. We're going to deep condition. I'm only going to have it in for a couple of hours because, like I said, I need to shoot a collaboration tomorrow. So I need my hair to be nice and done. Your, friend, your friend's also in here. So if you hear a little sound, it's your friend. Um, I'm doing two today. I am doing the pattern treatment mask for definition and curl elongation. And then I'm doing the TGIN Honey Miracle Hair Mask. I was going to do raw Manuka honey with the pattern because honey is just really, really great for um, putting moisture back in your hair. But I don't have any more. And apparently when I ran out, I forgot to order some more. So I just have it in my Amazon cart. And I'll be using that next week. I like to use it when I know I'm not going anywhere because it's really not good if you're going to like put in a hair mask and then go run errands. It's not that kind of... <laughs> It's very messy, so you want to make sure you're at home. But I'm just going to use this in the meantime. And I like to put it, I will dampen my hair, but I like to put it on like, I like to shampoo my hair before. So I'll damp it with the water and then put it on, leave it on for like probably an hour or two. I ordered groceries that should be here. And then I'm going to do a load of laundry and then start to edit the video that has to go up tonight. So also my voice is still not back. So if I don't do a lot of talking in this today. So. Alright, let's do some here. French braids, but I think I'm just going to put it back here or on top of my head. And I'm not going to put on a heating cap because I'm going to let it sit for a couple of hours. So I'm just going to set it up here. And because it's not soaking wet, I shouldn't have an issue with it like leaking on the rest of my face. Um, and I'll probably, I guess I'll leave this on for about two hours, the game. The championships are both today, NFC and AFC, so we're going to watch those. Um, so I'll probably wash it out at like 2. Um, and I'll be done just in time for the games to start. Um, I don't know. I don't know what happened. I guess it must be stress of hormones, but I have a pimple that's popped up right here. So I am going to do... Let me see the order of things. I'm about to put a load of laundry in so I'll, that can go ahead and be washing while I'm doing other things. And then I'm going to undo the groceries and then we're gonna do a facial steamer. I got this steamer, not, not this past Black Friday, but the Black Friday before off of Amazon. And I don't use it nearly as often as I should. I should be proactive and use it like once a week, but I don't. I literally only use it when there's a pimple about to pull up and then I'm like, all right, I need to do my full 
full skincare routine. So um, this is what it looks like. You just put the water here, cut it on, and then let it hit your face. So I'm gonna do this today, like probably in the next 10 minutes as soon as I do the other two items, cause what is that? That's one of those pimples that's gonna leave a mark. And I spent way too much time and effort on my face to just let a bump come up and not even try. So I'm gonna go ahead and put water in it. Um, and what I'll do is I'll wash my face with a gentle cleanser. Most of the time it's the Aveeno. Let me even see if I have it. I like to use something gentle. Which one is this one? Yeah, the Aveeno Clear Complexion Foaming Cleanser. I'll put that and then rinse that off and then we'll put the facial steamer and then I'll follow up with a toner, um, this glow toner. I'll show you guys. And then I'm gonna do the Biosense. This has been like my go-to eye cream lately, the Biosense. It's a little pricey, but it's actually really good. And then I need some vitamin C because my gosh. Am I just sunshine and pink clouds in the sky and everything is right? Imagine stars lighting up the night and the shooting stars so vibrant, you have to make a wish. Nothing's ever in your way, scoring every shot you make. No, you've never heard of pain because you're just high. Sweetest birthday cake Why can't it just stay this way? Totally peaceful minds Never need a second try Know you get it right the very first time It could be the best of days It could be the best of times Why do we need the troubles? Why? Why do we need the troubles? Why? Nothing's ever in your way Scoring every shot you make No, you've never heard of pain Because you're just high on life Every day is Saturday the sweetest birthday cake Why can't it just stay this way? Washing. I also just replaced the needle on my um, record player. You guys saw yesterday I was said I was going to find one. And Kyoshi was like, you don't need one. You just need a new needle. She was right. I'm never going to tell her that. So if you're watching this, friend, you were right. I just needed a new needle. Anyway, let's do our grocery haul. You guys know that I like to shop at Publix because I like to shop their BOGO items. So a lot of what we have for dinner... Deter a lot of what they have for sale determines what we have for dinner. So, um, uh, Alexander is out of his wipes. We, you guys know, we use the cautery wipes and diapers. It was supposed to be delivered yesterday. Apparently, there's a delay and he is out of wipes. So, we just got these little unscented ones from Publix to last us until well, that's definitely more than enough. But just wanted to make sure we had some until I'm hoping his shipment comes tomorrow. He's good on diapers, but wipes he's running out of. I wanted to try this purely Elizabeth grain-free vanilla almond butter granola. It's keto, so that was BOGO. Um, the Prego Alfredo sauce, you guys know that we like to make um, Alexander's pasta. because That seems to be the only thing that he likes. Well, I like to make it from scratch because what I'll do is I'll grind up like a broccoli, like make it like a puree and put it in with the Alfredo. That way he gets his vegetables. He just doesn't know it. So this was BOGO. Um, this Duke's Real Mayonnaise. I'm going to do chicken salad for lunch and then we'll probably do like some BLTs for another lunch, but we were out of mayo, so that's BOGO. 
This is the Marie Mama's. We're gonna do pizzas tonight. I wanted to do two different ones, one red sauce, one white sauce. So I got the smaller ones, the thin and crispy. Um, for my pizza oven, it's best if I go ahead and have um, the pizza crust already done instead of getting it raw. Um, Bumblebee chicken breast. I got two of these, so we're gonna do chicken salad. Like I said, this week. Lettuce, one for the BLTs, and then two to shred to make the tacos. I already have some ground beef in the refrigerator. Red onion, I'm gonna make guacamole this week, this Tuesday. William requested bananas. My avocado, which is not ready now, but will be ready in two days because it's already starting to like brown up. Tip, if you can't pull the seed off of the, well, this top thing off easily, your avocado is not ready to make guacamole. I don't know about anything other than that. Yeah, so two, I think I'm only gonna need one thing of chicken breast because I'm pretty sure this makes a lot, but it was bogus, so I went ahead and grabbed both. Um, diced jalapenos, we are out, and this is what I put in my avocado or my guacamole to make it spicy. The cantaloupe were on sale. I don't think cantaloupe is in season, but, let me make sure that I have it. Please tell me I'm not out. No, anything with tahine makes it better. So I was on a kick for cantaloupe. Cantaloupe, anything melon with tahine is so good. And watermelon, watermelon is definitely not in season and I didn't want to try it and want to test it. Um, we got a beefsteak tomato, half of it for the guac, the other half for the um, Tacos, two limes, same thing. One for um, guac, the other one William wants to use for the drinks on Tuesday. This is your first time here on Tuesdays. Me and William do Taco Tuesday, so I make the tacos, William makes the drinks, and then I um, also make the avocado, not the avocado, the guacamole when I feel like it. Bread was BOGO, so we'll use this, of course, for breakfast, and then to make the BLTs. They had bacon on um, BOGO last week, so we already got that. Brown eggs, because we're running low on. Welch's fruit snacks, BOGO, my indulgence, don't judge. Um, Nature's Bakery Fig Bars. I like to grab these in case I don't feel like doing breakfast in the morning but we have made the horrible mistake of letting your nephew try them. And now he has to have one every day. Like, I'll, so I'll give him, it comes in like a twin size. I'll give him one fig in the morning and then one fig when he gets out of daycare. So there's that. Um, these were BOGO Chopped Kit Smokehouse. I got this last week when William was out of town and just loved to grab it and made a quick and easy salad, even if there's no meat on it. Um, mm -hmm. So I got that, it was BOGO, mm -hmm. um, nut pods, almond and coconut creamer. That was also BOGO. These Cheetos were BOGO and I was craving the cheddar jalapeno. Oh, they were buy to get one. So I got the cheddar jalapeno. I got the crunchy. Where? And then I got the cheese puffs. I heard him say go to mommy, but I don't see him. Okay. Guess I'm tripping. Your friend's chicken nuggets. These were BOGO, simply steamed the, the broccoli. So I got the Tuscan seasoned. And then I got the broccoli sauce. They did have salmon on sale, which we'll do tomorrow, but I like to get the salmon fresh. So I'll get that tomorrow before he, before I pick Alexander up. And then Tuesday, we're gonna do tacos. Wednesday, we're gonna have some wings. I think there's still some frozen. I don't know what we're gonna do Thursday or Friday, but we'll figure that out. I try not to order an entire week of stuff because sometimes we get busy and then want to DoorDash or whatever. Hello. Groceries. Okay, you just wash your groceries. Okay, say you got some chicken breast. I'm not gonna let you touch this. That's the thinly sliced chicken breast. That was BOGO. And then the last bag. Your friend was out of milk, so we got some Horizon milk. He had on his jacket because he was outside with Julian playing with the dog, which 
You smell like that. Uh, These are grapes. Green grapes. So I'm gonna put all this up. It's dirty. And then we're gonna go do our face. Can you get down for me, please? Um, it's dirty. I have to clean it. I have to clean it. Yeah, I have to clean it. I have to clean it because it's dirty. Yeah. Okay. You want to try a cantaloupe? This is clean. I don't think you've ever had cantaloupe. I know I've never given you cantaloupe. Let's see. Well, that's not going to work. I, I'll get that off the ground. Find it. Mmm. Bye. Is it so tasty? He likes it. Okay, we're gonna give you a, um, we're gonna cut it up. I'm gonna sit you in the chair, because I need to. Okay. Let me get a knife. Okay. You wanna take the jacket off? Okay. Why do you still have on daddy's necklace? Push, 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 push. Oh, good job, you boy. Okay. All right. Okay. There you go. Um, I think you need to. Cut this up smaller. Here. One at a time. One at a time. Yeah. Mm hmm. You got more on the thing. I know you're saying more, but there's right there. Eat those first, and then I give you more. Don't touch my olive tree. I'm thinking of haters. I'm thinking of laying down for a nap right here on the pavement. I'm gonna grab this stool because I'm gonna sit down because I'm probably gonna let this steamer hit for like 10 minutes. But I'm gonna wash my face. And normally, when I am doing a facial steamer, I like to do this salt cleanser. I actually recommend the Aveno cleanser for if you're having. <laughs> unpopular opinion I don't think a teenager needs to be in Sephora getting skincare products I just don't their face isn't ready for it unless they're like 17 or 18 or they've been wearing makeup religiously if they need to like a new like a skincare routine I recommend it you know I'll link it below I don't think they need to be in there buying expensive skincare that's just a preference but what I do is I make sure that I put this cleanser on my face for at least a full two minutes that way I can make sure that everything is off of my skin before we apply all that steam to my face. And if I ever feel like the sides are getting off, I just re-wet my hands. I just wanna tell you, I know you 
right, so your back hair has been shampooed and conditioned. I went with the pattern, uh oh, the pattern um, shampoo and the conditioner. Just wanted to try something new that way, you know, I have all these products, like I kind of want to try something new. And then I normally do the curl days, but I got this set for Alexander because I just, I loved it so much on my hair and I like it on his hair. And then I thought, why don't I try it on my hair again? So I'm going to do the Jane Carter Solution Curls to Go. If you've been around this channel, you automatically know I absolutely love this stuff. So we're going to try it. I'm also sitting down because, listen... I don't know what I'm trying to get, but it's trying to take me out. I'm just tired. I don't know if I'm just tired or if I'm trying to come down with something, but I'm just going to have a seat and we're going to get this. Also, I am going to put oil on top after I do the oil. I make the leave it in the gel. You guys know normally I wait until the gel dries to put oil on there, but I figure since I've been like, I dyed my hair. To me personally this week, I feel like my hair got drier a lot faster than it normally does. And it has no reason other than I probably dyed my, I dyed my hair. Like, I didn't do anything differently. It's been raining outside, so it's not like it's been like dry and humid. If anything, it's been wet and moisturized, so it should have been the complete opposite. So I'm assuming it's because I dyed my hair um, that it's drying out more than what I care for it to. So I'm going to put the oil in before um, the gel dries. So... And my hair is still pretty wet because I legit just got finished shampooing and conditioning the hair. So I don't think I'll need to uh, apply any extra water, but I'm going to grab it just in case. And I put it in four sections like I always do. All right. Let's get started. I love this. This is what I use on Alexander's hair. Um... It's just a really, to me, it's like a, isn't it like a leave-in and a detangler? Yes, it hydrates, detangles, and reduces frizz. And it just feels, oh, it just feels so good when you put it on your hair. I forgot just how much I love this on my hair. I'm going to go on. What I do remember, I think, I don't put the gel on his hair. Now, I had to buy the gel separate. Um, but I want to say a little goes on a long way. So, I'm only going to do two pumps of the gel. Yeah, the gel does definitely go a long way. It's also, it's just, just a very moisturizing. I love that this is a spray, but my hands are very wet. I don't you. All right, so hair is done. Curls are looking, I might tea, my tea fresh. I just need to set an alert because normally, normally my wash and goes last seven to eight days. I can get them with a, like a little mini refresh halfway through. This one, I realized that because I have dyed my hair, I have to set myself an alert and I will put, I put it in my calendar on my phone, y'all. A lot of people underestimate, especially if you have an iPhone, especially if you have a newer iPhone, underestimate the power that you have in your hands. You want to shoot content, your phone. You want to vlog, your phone. Reminders, your like. There's like, you are unaware of how of how powerful this device is. So, I'm gonna put myself a calendar alert and to have it repeat every five days, and that's going to be my reminder to deep condition and basically do my wash and go process again. I love waiting seven and eight days and being able to stretch it out but for the first couple of months especially now that my hair is dyed it's absolutely essential that i keep the moisture in my hair to avoid the damage that sometimes dye can cause to your hair a lot of people dye their hair and because i haven't dyed my hair in so long they think oh i can do the same process when no your hair is craving for moisture more often than it is before the dye so um, I'm all dyed up. I'm being honest with you guys. I'm about to change my clothes. The game is about to come on. Your friend ordered Popeyes. Of all the wings that they have around the Birmingham and the surrounding area, he was craving Popeyes wings. So we are about to. I'm going to change my outfit. I have on all white. I'm going to put on my Eagles sweatshirt. Is Eagles in the playoffs? No. But it's still Eagles all day. <coughs> so about to put on my Eagles sweatshirt. And, um, 
Yeah, I think that's it. I don't know when I will come back. If I come back, I come back. If not, hope you enjoyed the vlog.